Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Screaming at a Joypad. Uh, today we're playing Assessment Examination from itch.io, which is in the Mandela Catalog universe. Now, you may remember Mandela Catalog from when we watched Mandela Catalog together, and also from when we played Alternate Watch together. Uh, and this is another game in that universe. I've seen two screenshots of it, and it looks like a like a quiz? like a, Or a text adventure? I'm not quite sure. I wonder if the same thing was with Upwards Inflections? Um, but that's pretty much all I know about it. So that's that's pretty traditional for this channel. Uh, but otherwise, let's find out. Let's give you the spooky stuff and no fluff. Let's go. I'm going to need your help, The chat. examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Thanks what? for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us here at are very happy Jesus, that's loud. If you get the job, that is. Today... We'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Uh -huh. Please take a sit and await further instruction. Okay. How did you hear about this position? Word of mouth or newspapers or a dream? Uh, also, disabled. Whoever was speaking said some bad words and was censored. They said some bad words and was censored. <laughs> How dare they? That's right, people. I've got a swear button and I don't use it. Uh, it came to me in a dream. Oh, I don't know if that was the right choice. Do you have any professional experience in that area? Yes, yes, we do. We've played all snow much before. I can see it. Bong. Do you have any person? Oh, any personal experience in this area? Okay, professional experience. Uh, yes, I too am an alternate. <laughs> Do you believe in God? Got to say, not yours. <laughs> Gonna be truthful. Do you fear death? Yes. Would you fear God? I mean, it depends on the depiction. Little old man with a big white beard? No. Thin Santa? No. Uh, like, uh, Old Testament God? Probably. I'm going to say no. Do you have people you love in your life? Of course I do. They're sat right here watching me. <laughs> do you fear losing them? Yes, all the time. I can't. What the fuck? Eight, my answer is 8E2A14, like, naturally. Yes, I constantly fear. I keep myself awake at night, fearing about losing viewers. In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people, and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats mm -hmm. you should stay away from. Please mm -hmm. be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Okay. Oh, this is, this is quite spooky. <laughs> Dude, uh, I'm going to say if your eyes were just like that, I'd be okay with that. But your eye sockets look dribbly. So I'm going to say you're a threat. Bad grandma. Bad grandma. No, not no, no threat. Uh, you look... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not liking the cyborg guys going on, but I don't know if that's just a trick of the light. Uh, no, I'm going to say threat. Uh, I don't think that was right. Is that Ron Perlman? I guess I trust Ron Perlman. With my life. Oh, hello. Where are you, family? Where are you? Something taking me. Where are you taking me? What? What am I even looking at? Do I click on this? Apparently so. Dude, where are your eyebrows? You've got no eyebrows. Uh. uh I'm going to say trust. Oh, I don't know if that was right. You've got no eyes. Threat. 
I'm pretty certain I've purchased souvenirs off this man while on holiday. I'm going to say I trust this person implicitly. Uh, that's a... That's a, that's a big old noob for me. That's, you've got no eyes, no mouth, and n no eyebrows either, which is equally disturbing. And you're topless. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Uh, Abraham Wallace. Diazepam, five milligrams. Take three tablets by mouth nightly. Keep out of reach of children. Expiration date, 16 something. 16 six. You look like you run a yoga retreat for billionaires. I'm not gonna lie. You you look like a yogi. I'm gonna trust you. You look like the same person from before, only without mahogany skin. So I don't know. Uh, I mean. Sure, trust, I guess. Yeah, maybe you, you seem fine. What is going on with those teeth? That is too many teeth. You've been eating too much good flesh. That is too many teeth. A yogi bear. Smarter than the average bear. Uh... You look like the template for soccer moms. Hello. Uh, police department, what's your emergency? Oh, sorry. Do you want me to... Uh, police department, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, hi. I'm at Dora Park at the gas station. Actually, in the corner of Dora Park. I think there's someone who needs help. There's a kid outside. He looks like he's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? Uh, I don't know. He looks fine. It's just he's, he's outside and the door is locked and I can't tell. He's asking for help, though, so I, I don't know if you can hear, but he's asking me to help him. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock the door? Uh, I can unlock it for sure. I, I work here. I have keys. Then what's stopping you? Uh, well, I mean, I, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But, and this is going to sound crazy to you. Just as I was pulling out my keys, I, I saw it. His face, his face, you know? He had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what. Something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know, man, but something's off about that kid. Like, real off. You're gonna let this kid bleed out because he feels off? Cause he's just, you fucking live in a world full of alternates, of course you are. That's not what I'm saying. He's he's not dying, I don't think. He he just doesn't look right at all. The kid looked like he just died himself. But he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost or, or a demon. It's hard to explain. Oh, maybe I'm just fucked up right now. Uh, I've been drinking a little bit. Fucking on the job, get that man sacked to see him. It's, it's scary shit, officer. Ellipses. Officer. He must be pale because of the blood loss. Poor kid, come. The fuck was that? <laughs> what? What's going on over there? We've got some biblical stuff going on at the top of the screen. Can't even keep his eyes straight, not because he's drunk one too many cheap beers. That 100% looks like it says bears. Is he still there? How does he look? Hey, Infinity Simplex, how you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, he's, uh, I don't know, I'm, like, crouching under the counter, so I, I can't see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. The ambulance is a good 20 minutes away. Now the kid cannot be doing that well. So I need you to go and assist him. Oh, fuck me. 
man. No fucking way. No, no, no. You see that little fucker? He's, in, he's not normal. You know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? This... Is that... Is that what that is? Is that what that is? Of course. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Okay, I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. <laughs> big old threat. That's what that is. A big old threat. Even my window agreed. <laughs> my, my window blind was just like flap, 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 well, you could do me like this, yeah? Well, you could do me like that. You give this image to someone with a lazy eye, and you're just like, is this person a threat? Fucking. I mean, I am. I am a threat. You are the same child. You've just straightened your face out. But I trust you. You get a trustworthy face. <laughs> What? <laughs> Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on Mar Holy shit. That was loud. Rip my ears. And while you're out here, why not come over to Dory Park? Admire the tall and beautiful <laughs> trees all around, or watch as some of our little ones grow. Bring the kids along, they'll have a fantastic time in our new play area. There is truly no better place to make beautiful memories. Dory Park, one of the county's most lovely locations. I'm down, I'm, I'm going. Dory Park, one of the county's most lovely locations. Die. Choose it as your final resting place. Oh, God. I can see his pain. I see it from my window. I see it every night. Isn't that a seal song? I see it from my window. I see it every night. I see his freaky face. And it gives me a fright. He's got no fucking eyeballs. And no mouthy either. Is it? I'm, am I supposed to do something? Oh, I am. I just must click. Sorry. I hear his steps. I hear them from my window. Hear them every night. I see, I hear his steps. I hear them from my window. That doesn't work. Father of many, his tears taste of sacrifice. His steps carry guilt. The fuck even is this game? Why haunt this one's park? Why torment my dreams nightly? Does he fear nightmares? I can see his pain. I see it from my window. I can see it's fake. I won't sleep tonight. Won't listen to the man's steps. Or I will be next. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Yeah. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, 
Hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything <laughs> goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Thanks, Brian. Created by Jerry Becerril. Jerry, are you alright? Do you need to talk to someone? Because if so, that ain't me. That's it. Death assessment examination. That's all I got. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Um, one sec. What are you waiting for? I'm wiping my nose, fuckface. Jesus, whispery preacher, demon bastard. I was just wiping my nose so I didn't make gross noises on the microphone. Fuck. God. POV, you've never been a streamer before. Jesus fucking Christ. Right, anyway. Um... Yeah, that was weird. I, I, that was, that was weird. Gladiator mode. Are you not horrified? End gladiator mode. Um. Yeah, that, that was, that was suitably weird. I'm not gonna lie, it was very creepy. I like, I like games like that. Right, I'm gonna do a, a quick outro for YouTube. Um, so bear with me. <coughs> You've heard about Bazoogram, right? I walk into a room. Bear with me. Rod Gods is now following. Rod Gods. Oh, my stream elements is actually working. Fantastic. Hello, Rod Gods. How are you doing? Welcome in. Pull up a chair. Um, I don't normally sound like this. I'm sick. I've I've got the sniffles, so you need to bear with me. My voice is a little deeper, and I, I'm possibly off my tits on Lemsip. I don't know. I'm not. I'm really not sure at this point. But that was assessment examination. Right. I'm going to do a. Um, uh, YouTube outro, okay? So, you want to say goodbye to YouTube? Say goodbye to YouTube. Right, start now. Uh, right, start that again for one second. The examination will now begin. Are you sick of being sick? Um, Hello, I haven't been friend. sick in ages. Like, Thanks this for is... applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us here at that was a are very happy to have you. If you get the job, that is. Today... We'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. Sorry. But before <laughs> that, some quick questions are required some to get some more insight going. about who we would be hiring. Uh, Darcy, am I am sick of being sick? I haven't been sick. This is the first time I've been sick this year. So I think I've been pretty, I've been pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very rarely sick. Although I'm, I'm almost, I'm one bad day away from being a shut-in. So I work from home full-time, and I stream, and I have no friends. Um, oh, except for imaginary ones, who are in this camera lens. Uh, and that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. But I'm fine. How are you? You doing all right? You look great today, by the way. Uh, I heard about this through a newspaper. Do you have any professional experience in the area? No, completely, completely inexperienced. I just want to see if this we get a different ending. Do you have any personal experience in the area? Nope. Do you believe in God? Sure do. By Jesus, do you fear death? Nope, because God will protect me. That's what that's what God people say, right? Do you fear God? Yeah, sure do. Why not? The anti mic. <laughs> Uh, do you have people in life that you love? Uh, love in your life? Yes. Everyone, everyone does, right? Do you fear losing them? Not especially. In a moment, oh, I, sh ah, I should have pressed the thing. Of oh, and that. you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should stay away from. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. You look trustworthy. Bad grandma. Sure thing. Why not? Uh, cyborg lady. Sure. Ron Perlman. Absolutely. I'm very trusting. I'm so trusting. Excellent. That's a fantastic. Pin it on the fridge. Uh, Eyebrowless Steve. Yep. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Just everyone. Everyone is friend. Everyone 
friend. Eyeless Jane, friend. Thomas Bob, friend. Skitty Pete, friend. Everyone's friend. Yep, same. Abraham, yep, got that. Yogi Joe. Not eyeless, just really large irises. Yep, you look like a friend. Sure, why not? Mouthy Karen, yep. <laughs> Karen Horseface. Uh, hello, what's your emergency? I'm not, I'm going to do the voice again, I'm sorry. The voice, I know I add real flavour to it. I know, I know I do, but I'm not doing the voices. Dilated pupils. Oh yeah, dilated pupils. I get that feeling. <laughs> He's asking for help. There's a there's a child. There's a child with a funny face. I'm good. Excuse me, nine one one. Do you know I I used to be I've said this on stream before. I used to be a nine 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 operator. Worst fucking job of my life. It's not the worst job of my life. Worst job of my life was probably selling fucking PPI insurance. Um but you you, you gotta make you gotta make money sometimes. Uh, and I did it for a whole day and then was like, Ugh, I feel my soul getting tainted by this. Ugh. Um, she's really doing the puss in boots routine. Yeah, she just wants me to feel sorry for her. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so I used to be an, 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 an operator, which is a very, very stressful job. And you do get some real weird phone calls. Like, I think the best one, I've never had anything like this. Like, oh, there's someone dying, but there's something wrong with the face. That probably would have made it more interesting. Um, the weirdest one I ever got was uh, 999, what's your emergency? Or I should go 999, what's your emergency? And they went, uh, yeah, so there's uh, someone, there's a lot of water in the road. Alright, but I, I don't know, is anyone in danger? No, there's just a lot of water in the road. Can you, can someone come fix it? Yeah, they didn't stay on the phone long. Come on, clicky clicky. Can you hear that buzz? I'm asking this to chat in general. Can you hear the buzz in the background or is that too low for you to hear? Can't hit any buzz. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. I'll wait until it's quiet. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter okay, on man. What does a DJ's actually do? Do, 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 do. Sorry, I can't. I've been watching too many stupid videos. That buzz. Constant buzz. Oh, it's, it's different! She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open, and when she went into the room, she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today, and at other times I like being with grandmother so much. She called out, good morning, but received no answer, so she went to the bed and drew back the curtains. There lay her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face, and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my child, was the reply. That, grandmother, what big eyes you have, she said. All the better to see you with, my dear. That, grandmother, what large hands you have. All the better to hug you with. Oh. But, Grandmother. What a terrible big mouth you have. <laughs> Avram, you have failed me. I can't escape imprisonment. I am 
surrounded by loveliness, but wise and sad. So cool. That's not how ants work. I can hear him laughing in Excellent. my. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. I'll just get in. Congratulations. Man. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Did I pass? I don't know if I passed. I hope I, I really hope I get accepted into I really hope I've always wanted to be accepted into Right, so that was assessment examination in the world of uh, Mandela candidate. I mean, they forgot the name of it then. Maybe I'm an alternate. Maybe that's my way of fitting in. I just remember words. I'm not convinced I've learned how to speak. I've just memorized a lot of words and I know how to string them together. Anyway, that was fun. It was an interesting little uh, side game, a little questionnaire uh, with some spooky bits in the middle um, and just the right amount of calm and terrifying, to be honest with you. And I like it. Uh, yeah, if you want to see more like this, please tune in. Uh, you know how YouTube works now. Don't I don't need to tell you how YouTube works. You're not an idiot. But if you want spooky stuff and none of the fluff, you know where to find me. All right, I'll see you later. Stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time.